Shalom family trendsetter All praises be to the most high power Hashem For allowing us to see another day I'm driving a bigger vehicle today It is raining out here so you might hear the windshield wiper As well as background noise Please bear with me Now if you notice family I haven't been on here much Because I've been doing a lot of preparation I'm actually proud of myself um, I did an inventory on survival items that I may need in the event shit hit the fan, which is going to happen. I speculate right after the election, possibly before, you're going to have a lot of sit hit, hit the fan scenario. So I would suggest, family, at the sound of my voice, you practice suit, go out there, pull out that money out of the bank while it's available, and start stacking up. I've been saying this for, for like almost a year and a half, probably two years. Prepare, prepare, prepare. So what I'm going to be doing, follow this video, I'm going to show you some items, survival items, right, that you can utilize in the event of an emergency, as well as weapons. I'm going to show you practical weapons you can obtain legally, as well as firearms. I've been stacking up. My arsenal is not that much, but it's enough. So much so, um, each member in my family, and my household that is, can protect himself. All right, and I suggest if y'all able to obtain a firearm legally, y'all do so as well because I'm telling you, shit's gonna hit the fan. Incidentally, if you're able to obtain a firearm, because the majority of the firearm that's out there, the prices have been inflated. For example, I remember about two, three months ago when I went to the gun store, I seen a 357 Magnum, and it was going for, I believe at the time it was going for six. 49 now when i go back there this shit is 1200 you know what i'm saying so i asked him what's the, what's why, why the price jump from you know double basically he said well you know if these firearms are hard to come by so at the end of the day it's just inflation so if they're doing this shit with weapons and arm ammunition what do you think is going to happen with food this is a time now like today like not tomorrow and shit today or possibly friday when you get paid go and get some non-perishable food item water flashlight batteries you know oodles and noodles uh ramen noodles I, I never used to like ramen noodles but now i see the necessity of having them ramen noodles you don't even need hot water to eat it you can actually put it in a bowl let it sit for like a half an hour and literally it, uh, the noodles expand and very tender and it's actually it actually tastes better than when you first put hot water on it because the, the noodle actually expands and you get a full a more fulfilling of the food of the, of the item that you're eating you know what I'm saying? it's more fulfilling because the noodles is actually spongy and it expands and it's soft so you don't really need hot water when you um eating ramen noodles all right another thing that you may want to consider because we're going into winter in case the light go out which i believe they're going to turn off the switch on us family trust me remember this remember this conversation i promise you between now and possibly february the lights is going to go out that's why they talk about cyber attack this and cyber attack that year right so you may want to stack up on, on some um warm clothing like possibly sleeping bag i know a lot of you might say why would i need a sleeping bag if i'm in my home let's say you have to leave your home let's say even if you don't have power you have the sleeping bag that can keep you warm inside of your home even in your bed you can wear a sleeping bag you know if it's that cold outside and you don't have any form of um heating you can utilize a sleeping bag. I know it sounds a little bit bogged out and incidentally that also inflated in price. You know what I'm saying? Another thing y'all may want to consider and I think it's still cheap. You may want to go to a Walmart or a Home Depot, one of them places and purchase you a buddy heater. Okay, that's the uh, heater that you can use. A portable, uh, what is it called? Portable, damn, I forgot the name of the, um, the heat, the fuel. But uh, it's like a, can a, a canister that you screw on and it's actually safe for the home you may want to just crack your window a little bit for a little bit of ventilation but these are some items that you definitely want to consider family because i'm telling you when shit really hit the fan and for me it already hit the fan now it's just starting to splatter you know what i'm saying a lot of y'all not going to be able to go out there you know readily on your own and shit and, and just go to purchase shit because not only will your safety be in danger you know what i'm saying you're not even going to be able to obtain most of these items that i'm telling y'all about so family i know it sounds crazy i know it sounds like i'm fear mongering and shit and i know a lot of y'all waiting on jesus christ to you know come and crack the sky and you know and and pretty much uh rescue y'all that shit ain't gonna happen you know over two thousand years ago right jesus christ supposedly was coming back 
and there have been many, many situations, many devastation, many wars, many trials and tribulation, and a lot of these people thought that this is it, this is the end, this is when Christ is going to return. That motherfucker have not shown his face. I believe he got the coronavirus, and he him himself deceased 2,000 years ago. Now, for the record, I do believe there was a prophet that came to the Lord's sheep of the house of Yasharal, Israel, the black people, to teach the law, statutes, and commandments, and the dietary law, and incidentally, they hung him on a tree, Acts chapter 5, 30. I keep telling y'all that, that, that verse for a reason, because I want y'all to understand that Jesus, this prophet, this, this so-called prophet, his name wasn't Jesus, first and foremost, because the letter J was invented in 1540, I think it was 1545 or 1542, right? So we know his name couldn't have been Jesus, but this particular prophet, he was, that's all he was, a prophet came to send forth the, inf the information from the Most High, the message from the Most High, and they hung him on a tree, not crucified on a cross, okay? That, cro that cross uh, shit is all mythical. But um, family, again, I just want y'all to understand, you know, a lot of times the Most High, y'all pray, y'all always pray for uh, peace and safety, right? And a lot of times the Most High give you opportunity to dwell in peace and safety. And he was sent forth an individual such as myself. I'm a nobody, you know what I'm saying? I'm not a white person. I'm not a, a person of any kind of influence. But at the end of the day, you know, he does send forth prophets and shit. And that's one of the problems with our people, black people. I don't care about the other nation. I could care less about the other nation. I'm dealing with our people. Because now you got motherfucking Asians and, 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 and Japanese and Chinese getting in on the action, calling people the N-word. Y'all saw the last video. And, and, and talk about their races openly. They, they, this is how idiotic these Neanderthals are because the Asians actually have more Neanderthal DNA than the, the Caucasian. They're so fucking stupid, right? They think they're gonna get away with it like how the so-called white man got away with it. This is their construct. This is the white man's construct. So they, they could get away with using the N-word and, and a lot of cases they don't even get away with it. Not anymore because the most is calling them out. So this dumb, stupid ass Asian look about, oh, I'm racist. I'm racist and, I, and and niggas don't belong here. Whatever the fuck he said. Watch the last video. You know what I mean? They trying to get in on the action, but this shit don't work for you dummies because guess what? Y'all ain't Caucasian. You know what I'm saying? They don't like y'all either. They don't like y'all either. Remember white power, remember? Last time I checked, you may have the complexion somewhat similar to the so-called Caucasian, but you're not one of them. So don't try that shit because you will get fucked up. You know what I'm saying? The difference between y'all Asians and a white person we know if we buck back on a so-called white man, nine times out of ten, we're going to be shot dead. But I guarantee we buck back on your dumb ass, we will probably succeed. Because they don't really like y'all either. Y'all are motherfucking aliens too. Y'all don't belong here. Many of y'all came here illegal. Illegally and shit. Illegally. Fuck illegal. Illegally. You know what I mean? So this is just a SOS for your ass or a heads up for you Asians, motherfucker, all you other nations that's trying to follow suit. It won't work because you will get fucked up by a brother. I know you try that shit with me. I will knock your motherfucking head off and deal with the consequences later. You feel what I'm saying? Because everybody's trying to get in on the action. This is why I'm telling y'all family, go and stack up on weapons to protect your home. Thank God. Y'all like to say God and shit. Well, thank the most High God that in Maryland we have what is referred to as castle doctrine, which basically means if a motherfucker step across my door, me, my wife, and my kids, or anybody, my brother, anybody in my household can bust his head open. You know what I'm saying? So I dare anybody, anybody, I mean anybody, I don't give a fuck who you is, badge or no badge. You step across my door or step across my threshold illegally. I know a lot of y'all like, why this nigga got from survival to, you know, ranting and shit? Because, because I can do that. Y'all cross my threshold, I'm putting a hot one in your head. You know what I'm saying? This is why y'all need to go out there. This is, you see, see, family, what I've noticed with these devils, right? They don't want the, the battlefield even. They want the shit uneven. That's why when they talk about your Second Amendment right, this shit wasn't for black folks initially. This was for white people because there was a fear that the, there's going to be retribution from the slaves and the free slaves and shit, right? So they gave, excuse me, they gave a mandate that they can go out there and arm themselves to protect their family. But I guess after a while it became mainstream, but yet still, they don't acknowledge our Second Amendment right. But guess what? I do. I acknowledge my shit. In my house especially, especially if I'm in my home, right? I got security cameras everywhere. I got motherfucking motion detector everywhere. And I'm going to show y'all some of the shit that I have so y'all can follow suit. I'm in my home. 
with my family, not bothering nobody, I'm a law-abiding citizen, so much so I'm able to obtain firearm to get a, uh, a carry, a wear and carry permit, which means I can carry a handgun legally and shit while, while I'm driving as we speak. You know what I'm saying? To protect myself as long as I'm not trying to harm anybody, as long as nobody coming to my motherfucking space, right, to take my shit, my cargo, they good. But if they come across, you know, if they come in my space, I, I have all right to take them out. You know what I'm saying? So if I'm able to obtain these particular permits and, and, and um, I should say privileges and shit, right? That means I'm legal. So if y'all come into my home, I don't care who you are, with a no-knock warrant, because Maryland ain't a no-knock warrant state, so you don't fuck around over here. You come into my home, I don't care, and I'm, 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 I'm sending a message, right? I know I don't sell drugs. I don't deal with no illegality and shit you know no illegal activity i'm not a criminal follow man's law as best as i can to the book and shit and y'all cross my path y'all gonna get something i believe no y'all gonna get a lot of something because even my wife is trained training my daughter you know what i'm saying and everybody gonna be packed and ready and waiting so i suggest family that y'all go and follow suit so we at motherfucking war we at war we at war so get yourself ready Jesus Christ ain't gonna help you. Jesus fucking Christ ain't gonna help you, niggas. Okay, he didn't help the church from closing from coronavirus. He damn sure ain't gonna help you. God help those who help themselves. I'm out.